So this question is a diagram question. I say that because any question that provides some visual input is going to be considered a diagram category question. More specifically, this is a graph question, right? So let's let's look at this graph. I like to look at the graphs when they're provided and just say, well, hey, what can I what can I figure out here? So the first thing that catches my eye is the y-intercept. I know that b is equal to negative 8. And I'm saying b because I'm thinking y equals mx plus b as the equation for a line. Can I figure out what m is? Well, it looks like I can, right? I have this point here. It looks like to get from here to this next point, I'm going up 6 units, right, from negative 8 to negative 2. So that's positive 6. And I'm going to the right 4 units, right, from 0 to 4. So that's a positive 4. So my slope is equal to 6 over 4, which reduces to 3 over 2. And therefore, the equation of this line is y equals positive 3 halves x minus 8. And I can tell that, again, all just from looking at the graph. So I do suggest anytime you have a graph question that you, you know, see if you can figure out the slope on your own, the y-intercept, at least those. Just see if you see any other points. For instance, like there's a point here that we could figure out if we needed it. Another point here. So the question asks for the graph. So the question says the graph of the linear function f is shown. Which equation defines f? So in essence, we've already done the work for that because we already found the equation. And it looks like that's just going to be answer choice A, right? f of x, which is the same thing as y, right? Let's, let's not let that confuse us. We don't want that to confuse us. f of x and y are the same thing. So f of x equals 3 halves x minus 8. So choice A is the correct answer.